Did you know that in Nigeria we have fresh sweet strawberries from Joss? And that is exactly what I have here. I just got them from Joss. This particular, it comes in this pattern if you want to have it in large scale. And being someone that has a large household, I have the opportunity of buying this during the strawberry season. But the thing is, you know what strawberry does? It doesn't last. So I'm going to share with you how to preserve it. Someone once told me that the best way to preserve strawberries is to bring them home, wash them, and eat them all. That is the only way to preserve it. But I think that the only way to preserve the strawberries is the one I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you three different ways to preserve the strawberries. Okay? So let's go. This particular style of preservation is small scale. That in case you want to keep fresh strawberries in your fridge so that you can make your parfait or eat any, or you just want to take it out and eat, or you have little children in the house that you want to give them to eat, this particular style is the best for you. Okay. So first of all, let's wash our strawberries with our our vinegar water and then let it sit for like five minutes so that you can get out all those dirty. Dirty particles from the strawberries. it out again make sure you rinse out your strawberries after you must have soaked them up with your vinegar water
So allow it to stay overnight, like I said. Then these mason jars have been cleaned. You see, I, I did a video before now on how to sterilize your mason jars. So um, allow it to sit and then put these dry strawberries in it and put in your fridge. That's it. That is it. Now you will be amazed at how fresh these strawberries will stay. Mine has actually stayed, like I said, six days. This is the sixth day and it is still remaining fresh. But make sure that your strawberry is dry. No water on it. Anyone that is injured or getting bad, take it out. Make sure that they are all well fresh and not injured strawberries. Then you can put them in your dry mason jars, in your dry mayonnaise bottles and then cover them up and put in the fridge. That's it. Now for the large scale, I'm going to share with you how I did it. One, I freeze and secondly, I dry them. Let us start by washing the strawberries. We wash them, we soak the strawberries in water and put in our vinegar water please if you are going to be washing your strawberries with baking soda make sure you eat them up immediately because i tried them up i tried washing them with baking soda and they didn't last long for me so the, your best bet is water and vinegar water allow it to sit for five minutes and then you can wash them up and start trimming When you are cutting them, your strawberries up, the leaves, the particular leaves, these particular leaves, I am going to use it to make tea. You know, all those teas you buy in the store, very expensive. You can actually use your strawberry leaves to make tea. All you need to do is dry them up, boil it, and then you have your strawberry tea for you. Okay? Thank me later. So you wash them up and then cut them into uh, smaller pieces, put them in your ziplock and freeze. For the drying aspect, what I'm just going to do is, you see the way I'm cutting them, I'm going to cut them slim, I'm going to cut it into slimmer parts and then put them on my dryer throw it, and keep them to dry overnight. When it dries up overnight, I have dried up strawberries that I'm going to be milling into a powder. In this case, I don't need to freeze and I don't need to do any kind of preservation. All I need to do is make sure that the strawberries are well dried for me to meal in my blender. Was this helpful? If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.